Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are all of my travel-based book recommendations. So in this video, I'm going to go over a few books that I have read about traveling or experiencing new places that I would recommend for you to read. This is very much inspired by the fact that I will be doing a lot of traveling this summer and I am super excited for it. If you haven't heard about it, I have talked about it in quite a few of my recent videos, so maybe you should check those out for more details. But majority of these will be like contemporary rom-coms that are travel based, but not all of them. So make sure you watch through to the end if you're interested for other recommendations as well. With that being said, let's jump right into the video, shall we? The first book that I would recommend is The Layover by, I believe, Lacey Walden. So this is actually about a flight attendant who is going on her last flight. After this, she is done. She is gonna settle down with like the love of her life. She is ready for a change in pace. And she is so excited for this last trip because she gets to go to a tropical place, stay there overnight, and have like a wonderful vacation as part of this last trip. However, she gets paired up with this other flight attendant who he is just a thorn in her side. He steals her parking spot, he is annoying, he leaves her to do all the annoying little tasks that are just part of their job, and it's an enemies to lovers romance on this vacation. And I believe they go somewhere like Bali, somewhere tropical and really fun. And I loved the descriptions of travel in here and just kind of seeing things from a different perspective in terms of travel. So it's, it's a very, it's a fun one to just kind of quick pick up and speed through. On a more serious note, I would also recommend A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow, and this is by Laura Taylor Naney. This follows our main character, who is Cuban-American, and there was recently a death in her family, and she's kind of expecting to take over the family restaurant kind of bakery. Um, but her family's like, no, go visit your sister in England because you need to just get away from this. You need to settle down and just kind of recover, process your grief. And so she goes to England and she works uh, in the hotel kitchen where her sister owns and she meets this boy and he teaches her about sightseeing in England and tea and all those wonderful things. So if you need a travel base to Europe with baking, cultural baking influences of both English baking and Cuban baking, this is a very good one to read. Same continent and even almost on the same island in the UK, I would recommend The Summer Job. This is about our main character who she kind of just jumps around. She doesn't do anything long term. And her friend is uh, the, the wine person. She is the person who officially pairs wines with meals and gives customer wine recommendations. You know, she is offered this amazing job in Scotland at this beautiful little kind of up and coming hotel. And her friend decides to not take this job and instead run away to Italy with this new boy. And her friend is like, well, free lodging? it's a job. So she takes her place. She decides she's gonna go to Scotland and pretend to be this fancy schmancy wine person. And it's hilarious. <laughs> All the mischief she gets into because she doesn't actually know anything about wine, which is hilarious. So I very much enjoyed reading this one last summer. It was so funny. It was an absolute blast. Next up is one I'm sure you've heard about, but just in case you haven't read it yet or you've forgotten about it somehow, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Yeah, makes sense. It's talking about vacation, right? So we have our main character who her job is to go on vacations and write about it and do recommendations, kind of show like, oh, the perfect itinerary and hotel to stay at for this place. Oh, the fancy schmancy. And she and her best friend 
which are like opposites attract, but it's friends to lovers, they used to go on these vacations together. And then they had this huge falling out one summer and they haven't seen each other for a long time until she reaches out to go on another vacation together. So it's dual timeline between then when they were in college, meeting each other, getting to know each other, and going on these vacations versus now going on this recent vacation with all this awkwardness, but it's friends to lovers. I'm not a huge fan of the friends to lovers trope, but this was a good book. I think the opposites attract really helped me for this. But yeah, this has tons of little vacations in here and lots of different travel. So this would be very inspirational and really fun to just kind of dream and wish, oh, what you could do if you were traveling. So if you haven't read this or really any Emily Henry book, <laughs> you should definitely give it a chance. Then the final recommendations that I have on this list is not a contemporary romance. It is Rise of the Snake Goddess by Jenny Elder Moak. This is a 1920s gender swap Indiana Jones style story. So this is like the second book after the first one, which is Curse of the Spectre Queen, and that follows Celtic mythology, and here you're following Minoan mythology. So our main character, Sam, and her best friend and her dates go to the island of Crete to solve this archaeological discovery, figure out what it means, and find out where it can lead them. It's very adventure story, very mythology heavy, you know, It's and it's in Greece, which I had to read this as soon as possible because I am also going to Greece this summer, so I was definitely like, mm-hmm, this is, this is it, this is perfect. This would be a dream vacation for me, honestly, going on like an archaeological dig and hunt somewhere. There doesn't need to be treasure, okay? I don't, I'm not in it for the treasure. I would just absolutely love to find something old <laughs> and something like new to us. So I had a great time wishing I could be Sam in this book on the island of Crete figuring out these puzzles based off of what they know of mythology. So <laughs> yeah, definitely amazing. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. I post videos every week and I will continue to do so all summer. But make sure you comment down below what your travel recommendation reads are. What book just absolutely transported you to another place and either made you want to travel there or act like you were the main character and that you were traveling there. I would love more recommendations and to talk with you about these books. Otherwise, I do also have bookish social media links down below that you can follow me and my adventures on there. And if you're very interested in my travels this summer, I do actually have a second channel. It's quite new called Languages with Laura where I do language learning tips, but also I will be posting all of my travel vlogs there. So I'll have that link down below in case you are interested in seeing my travel vlogs later this summer. But yeah, again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.